in a divorce story, okay? Lamar's difficult financial situation of sofa argument made it impossible for him to pay any alimony or child support. Their fight was were too much. That's his ex wife. They were separated, y'all. The mob was doing filming and everything. Wrecked the girl, called up, say a verdict. So what happened was they got a divorce. So it was difficult for the court to find him guilty of these offenses that the girl said, that the wife said he did. And he was ordered to pay for these items, okay? And you see how much he had to pay right now. Seven hundred seven thousand. Okay. Now that's what he owe Elise. He protests against the sentence. Lamar want to spend out. Lamar trying to keep the money to himself, y'all. Poor Lamar. Lamar looking like he ready to enjoy that money. Okay, let's keep going. Lamar, of course, of course, was happy with the court decision. He launched a campaign on social media to protest, protest against what he regarded as an unfair resolution. Okay, look at her. She happy. It wasn't that bad. You know that, right? Get some money, go. By this point, Lamar had decided just to settle for the loss and be grateful to come out with a little ahead, given his life struggles. Lamar realized that having 300,000 300, life over wasn't the worst situation to be in. It wasn't easy not to be bitter about how things turned out, but Lamar comforted himself with the knowledge that Elisha and his kids were now well taken care of. However, this left him with question about his own future. Where to from here? Okay. Okay, Lamar was happy with his kids were better off now. He knew what it felt like to struggle and never wanted the same life for them. Unfortunately, while they was taken up, taking care of, Lamar still had to fit out of his own future. People were still haunting him. They mean they were trying to get his money out. Oh, look at that. Why you got Why they let? They didn't want nobody to know. You know, when you win a million dollars, they don't want nobody to know. Once news lottery win began to travel, he realized how big a people could be, how people can be when you win money. During his work, work struggle with trying to stay afloat, Lamar never remembered other being other being there for him. Fathering the money. <laughs> Lamar couldn't recall. His extended family and friends call him. Now everybody calling him, y'all. He lost his cool. Lamar can help feel that Elisha had benefit had benefit the most from his fortune. That's good. It went to your charity. Okay, the money had changed him. Oh, look at Lamar. Lamar look like a rapper. Lamar regretted his uh, past, his old behavior. With Elisha had come back to bite him in, bite him in the worst way. <laughs> they need to start. Okay. The action of his friend and family who kept trying to get money out of him after winning the lottery angered Lamar. He changed his number to avoid any more conflict and began keeping to himself. They go his kid. Yeah. 
confuse you how to work. God, that's a long story. Having never been in a pos position or explore opportunity in this, Lamar hadn't anticipated how complex this world had become. A solution like uh, critical criticism and forex trading were thrown at Lamar, and he sometimes felt a little out of the depth. Okay. A familiar place. The longer Lamar sat with the money in his account, the more afraid or paranoid of wasting it, he became one of. One day, as he walked through the, his childhood neighborhood, he suddenly spotted a familiar building. He ran into an older friend. I want to get to his phone. My new start. That feeling was a sense of being home again. Lamar had been struggling on his own for a long time. He had forgotten how how much comfort that church had provided his family in the past. Well, that's good. Now, let me get to the end with Lamar. The promise. Look at Lamar. Lamar still there. Like Lamar. Okay. Then he said, keeping the promise. Oh, that's Pastor David. I'm sorry. Keeping the promise, Pastor David later introduced Lamar to the to Mr. Morrison, who was a senior member of the church. Mr. Morrison worked in the financial and <laughs> used all his experience to help guide Lamar. They go to church in his money. A new leaf. After trying so so long to turn over a new leaf and finally in a struggle, Lamar had finally found a new path that was enough interest earned for his saving to give Lamar a small second income. Okay. Rest of the money was used for long time investment that could later grow into a retirement fund. That was just one last thing Lamar wanted to, to do. Granted to, okay. Lamar financially secure for the first time of his life. He began paying alimony money and his relationship with Risha and his friend improved. Good. Uh, Lamar also began counseling the church. You members so others could benefit from his life experience. That's good, Lamar. Lamar donated the last one thousand dollars his winning to the church. He no longer needed it. The lesson he had learned from the saga became became more valuable to him than the money ever was. Lamar, that was good. That was a good story. I thought the story was gonna be bad, y'all, but this is the story about the, the guy I was trying to do earlier. He ended up doing good with his money. Most people. Get their money and mess it up. He won a million dollars. Hit the number and won a million and donated it. God is good all the time. Yes, he is. To care his children, Eddie White, to care White. They go that money, they go that power bar. Look at Lamar. Lamar looked good, didn't he, y'all? He's on his way of getting a divorce. There she go. There <laughs> 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 go everybody call him on the phone because he got money. Look at him, y'all. They hit him like screen. <laughs> the power ball. Wish I win a million dollars. Never date my mama. 
Look at little mom. Little mom, I'm proud of you. But they went ringing. She wrecked her car. Let somebody up. There she go. There go Lamar. Lamar turned out to be a good man, y'all. With his lottery ticket. There they go again. Now they back together. After him, all his business. It was a good story. There he go. Oh, Rich Lamar. There go that ticket. I need to play that ticket. All right, y'all. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.